Uh, we've spent the last 30 minutes showing the governor some of the innovative ideas that have been put into place over the last several years here. Um, and I think many of you heard the conversation as we, uh, as we did the tour. One system where users take responsibility for meeting goals, a focus on getting a job from the time people create their first resume online until they finally find the job, ample opportunities to become job ready, solid career counseling based on local career pathways, and new kinds of occupational skill training based on the skill needs of businesses and as articulated by our business partners who are a major part of what we do day in and day out. These basic principles have allowed us to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of the services that we provide to a wide group of people. Uh, that group includes people as diverse as dislocated workers, homeless folks, ex-offenders, young people, mature workers, and people who are trying to get off of welfare and find a job. Uh, it was two years ago, or three years ago rather, that we visited this very uh, job center and you, it's grown, that's what we heard last time. And we've given you uh, new responsibilities with the combination of these two programs. If you go back at that time, unemployment in Pennsylvania was about 8.7 percent. Um, oh, that means almost 9 percent of the workforce in Pennsylvania uh, was was without jobs. During that visit, I talked about my plan to turn things around, uh, which included innovation in government, uh, reforming the jobs climate, promoting small business, and creating a world class. Uh, workforce. And one of the reasons we're here today is to help create that workforce. Since then, things are improving. You know, not where we would all like them, I don't think. I don't think anybody across the country says that, but we are certainly seeing improvement in Pennsylvania. We are reforming the jobs climate with programs such as Keystone Works that we announced a number of months ago, allowing unemployed workers to take on the job training and develop new skills without losing their unemployment benefits. And for those of you who were walking through the tour with us, you listen to the fact that we have a, a skills gap going on and we have to recover uh, and help the people get the skills for the 21st century uh, as compared to the, the 20th century. This streamlined program is aimed to make certain that the promises you heard three years ago when I was campaigning are translated into careers for the people who are here today and tomorrow. A shared staff means less waiting. It means a wider range of talents for which to draw among the staff of DPW and L&I. Maybe some networking, maybe some cross-training between the two. It is our way of finding out if strength in numbers can increase the number of jobs. In the end, no matter why someone is looking for work, they should receive the same service, they should receive the same system, assistance, and they should all be held to the same standards. This program, uh, continues to succeed here. We can think about rolling it out across the state with a localized plan wherever we have a career link, uh, and we have many of them across the state of Pennsylvania, and a uh, earn center. I remain committed to making certain that we find a job for every Pennsylvanian who wants one.